Welcome sports fans, you're watching today's Battling Bishops Football Game of the Week here on WHIG TV. Today, this game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. And Brame Specialty. Brame delivers products, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability. Commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. Now let's get going with today's Battling Bishops football game of the week here on WHIG TV. Let's rock. Welcome to North Carolina Wesleyan football. Battling Bishops taking on the pride from Greensboro College. Quarterback's got the pass play, finds a man open on the right-hand side, and it's gonna be an incomplete pass. So therefore, it's going to bring up a third down situation, third and four for the pride of Greensboro College. Quarterback, David Lockery, is your quarterback for the Pride. 6'3", 195, kind of a lanky fellow. Running like T again, you got men split left and right. Out, whistles everywhere, flag is thrown, could be a delay of game. And let's see what they call. No, motion. That's gonna be motion. And that's gonna put a five yard penalty against the pride of Greensboro College. All right, brings down a third down and nine. That's a good thing for the battling bishops. If they're gonna make the mistakes, we'll take those yards from you. One setback, looks like a pass play's coming up. He's got room, gonna, oh, it's a little shuttle pass. Fumble! It's a fumble on the field. Wesleyan says they got it. Let's wait for the uh, official to signal it, if they've got it or not. And it looks as if, yes, the Wesleyan College battling bishops, they are able to recover the ball. So they're gonna be starting on offense, very, very good position, very, very good uh, field position for the battling bishops. Around about the 27 yard line, I'd say. Scoreboard guy, don't pay attention to him. He's still got a fourth down and nine. All right. They're going to punt. And it's a scribbly punt. I, go back. I thought they recovered it, but they did not. But that forced the Greensboro College Pride to punt. That's my bad. I'm very sorry. I'm trying to hold an umbrella and keep all my charts in front of me. It's a very difficult task this afternoon at the Vernon C. Bradley Jr. football field. Either way, it's gonna be first down and 10 for the Battling Bishops. And they're gonna be starting on their own, uh, I'm sorry, on the Pride 24. Very good field position. Okay, you got a uh, man in the backfield, like a blocking back, and sure enough, they follow right behind him. That's number 28, Sean Cardwell, junior running back, 6'2", 215, out of Arneville Grace, Maryland. And picks up a couple on that play. Let's see where they spot it, though. You always gotta wait for that, a proverbial spot. All right, he picks up one. So that's gonna bring up second and nine. 13-27 left in this very first quarter of play. It's homecoming here at North Carolina Wesleyan College. All right, one man in the backfield. They're going to keep it on the ground again. He's got running room. Oh, he gets tripped up. He gets tripped up there. Once again, um, Sean Cardwell on the carry. All right, third and six. Bishop's keeping it on the ground, electing not to go through the air yet. There's the snap. 
once again, keeping it on the ground, this time Keondrick Baines. He's a freshman out of uh, Reeford, North Carolina. And that is enough for a Bishop first down. Glad to have you here on WHIG TV, college football. Of course, we carry a high school game of the week, and now we got college today. Number six, RJ Quarter. Uh, RJ Carter looks like. Oh, I'm sorry, Chaz Frischman or Hushman. Hushman keeps it around the side, tries to keep it on his own. He's got some running room over there on the left-hand side. And that's uh, Chaz Hirschman, quarterback, 5'11", out of Jacksonville, Florida. Head coach Jeff uh, Filkowski. I've got to check. I think he's maybe 10th year or so. All right. A little dive play up the middle. He brings up a, maybe a yard or so. No, they're saying he just stopped him there. Third and seven. Might have picked up two on that. Third and seven. They're looking over to the sideline, trying to pick up the play. Looks like they're going to shuttle in another guy with a new play. And they're still looking over to the side to get their call. Here comes the quarterback out on the field again. And I believe that is Chaz Hirschman. He's a freshman. Oh, man, just over his fingertips. Now, the ball is wet today, of course. There's a steady, uh, just a drizzle. It's a miserable football day, but, uh, you know, it's a happy day because it's homecoming here at North Carolina Wesleyan. Going to bring up fourth and seven. Looks like they're going to try to go for the field goal. And the ball sets on the 10. So they're going to try to go for a field goal and get that uh, first blood. There's the snap. It's set. It's up. And it is good. So it's 10.56 left in the first quarter of play. That makes it Battling Bishops 3, the pride of Greensboro College 0, and we'll, we'll be back after some messages right here on WHIG-TV. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG-TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers products, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. Back with action. Wesley and set up to kick off to the pride of Greensboro College. On the board quickly with three points, she'll take them. It's a high end over end. Greensboro College fields at about the 10. He's got running room, look out, over the side. Still grooving and moving, but he's brought down by the battling bishops. So here, come the, here comes the pride, I guess we could say. Here comes the pride on offense. And they're out of Greensboro, North Carolina, of course, not to be confused with UNCG, which is part of the North Carolina system. All right, you got one lone back, man in motion, sets up in a wing back situation. There's a blocking back, he's got room, he breaks out over to the right, but no go. 
the defense of the Battle of Bishops kind of staying home like they should. And they stop him before he can get anything going. It's a good job from the defense of the Battling Bishops. And it's going to bring up second down and 10. Ball is on the 33, so they really didn't get anything at all on that. Let's see. Quarterback David Lockery. Got a one man in the backfield. Man split left and right. Oh, sorry, twins to the left. There's the hike. He's got a man. Oh, he just kind of threw it in the middle to no man's land. I'm, I'm figuring a back did not, or a man did not break to where he was supposed to. I think it was sort of uh, intended for Deshaun Fitz, but uh, that is going to be <clears throat> no go. Stops the clock, sends us a passing play. 10.03 left in the first quarter of play. Bishops out to an early lead of 3-0, to zero, taking advantage of the turnover, or, or, or almost turnover, I say. And uh, the Pride was able to fall on it, but they had to punt. Oh, a little switch up this time. Ben split left and right, got a tee back. Man in motion over to the left. It looks like a pass play. It's a little shuttle pass. And he brings it out in about the 40 before the battling bishops can bring him down over on the left-hand side, trying to see who got the ball there so I can give him credit. All the guys are blocking, his, blocking my view. I can't tell who it was. All right, fourth down and two. And it looks like the bishops are going to bring up the beef up front, try to shut them down. Here we go. Exciting times. Can the Bishops shut them down with fourth and two? Nope, I'm sorry. They're going to punt it. Smartly punting the ball. There's the hike. It's up. That's a better punt this time. And the Bishops wisely call for a fair catch. Fair catch. So they held the, held the pride two times, held them uh, to no score, which is a great thing. Kelvin offered there with the uh, reception of the punt. All right, Bishops are gonna be starting their own 28. Gonna be starting from their own 28. It's gonna be first and 10, looking over to the sideline to get the play. And that's your uh, quarterback, Chaz Hirschman, out of Jacksonville, Florida. Up, oh, whistles everywhere, let's see what's going on. Gives me a chance to say that the uh, bishops sporting the pink socks in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Okay, we're trying to get everything set back. Okay, looks more of an official's uh, kind of setup, maybe. All right. Now it looks like everything's ready to go. And we're underway. Still in the first quarter of play. Glad you could be here to watch the game. One lone back in the backfield, twins to the left, and they keep it on the ground again, grinding it out. I'd like to remind you that the uh, sponsors for today's game Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers product, services, and solutions to our customers throughout North Carolina and also Virginia, as well as South Carolina. Founded in 1924, Maine's a family owned and operated with a strong focus on communities. Back to the action. Working out of the shotgun, there's a pitch play over to the left-hand side. Ooh, Greensboro College makes an excellent play. You got to give it to him. Give credit where credit is due. And he brings down number 27 for the uh, Battling Bishops, Trevon Crank. And he's a freshman out of Gastonia, North Carolina. All right, 8:17. Clock continues to tick. Greensboro College looks over to their sideline to get their defensive play. All right, one lone back. You got twins left. Uh, check it, three men over on the left, one to the right. Up oh, man goes in motion to the left, holds tight. He's looking for somebody, he's got the out man. There he goes, number one with the catch. 
And that's Sean Washington. Sean Washington with the catch. And it appears to be enough for a Bishop first down. Going back to some of our uh, sponsors, Pepsi. Everything's better with a Pepsi. Homecoming in the rain is better with a Pepsi. All right, two men split left, one to the right. Lone back, he rolls to the left. He's got a man, good God Almighty. He's off to the races, big number 45. That's the fullback. And that is Tyler Watson. He's out of Lenore, North Carolina. He's 5'9", uh, packs 250 pounds. That's a lot of beef to bring down, fans. First down. Good job, big number 45. All right, we're rolling right along. Got receivers split two to the right. A man in the backfield, kind of a wings back, so we'll have three left, one right, one lone back. Do they keep it to the ground? Yes, they do. He follows his blockers perfectly. He grinds it out over to the left-hand side. That's number 27, uh, Trevon Crank. And he picks up some good yardage, and that's going to bring up second down. And let's see where they spot the ball before we tell you how far to go. Uh, I want to say seven or so. Let's say he picked up three. No, they're giving him five. So it's second and five to go for the Battling Bishops. It's their homecoming. You know they want this win very, very badly. He hits the line, and Greensboro College says, no go. The pride's going to swarm on you. So Crank stopped right at the line. Quarterback comes up to the sideline, Hirschman. He's talking to the coach. They're going to get their play. Got some uh, two guys coming out. Actually, uh, uh, three. You got a. Uh, now we make another change. Big number 45 is getting in there. Don't want to let that play clock run out. One long back. Two split to the right, up, and it is timeout. Timeout on the field for the Battling Bishops. And want to get our next sponsor in, Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability 50 years of service and counting. And with timeout on the field at 538 left in the first quarter play, Wesleyan takes the timeout. It's Bishops 3, the Pride 0, and we'll be back with more college football right here on WHIG-TV. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG-TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers product, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. Call that trips. There's a triplets. So you got trips left. A stout up front. Do they keep it on the ground or they're gonna go to a pass play? Oh! There's motion, I believe, or maybe defense jumped off sides. Gotta wait for the official to give us the penalty. Motion, false start, bishops. So after setting up a great play, somebody got a little bit anxious and somebody jumped. So they're over there con 
consulting on the sideline. Everybody's getting the play. Number nine is in the backfield now. He's usually a wide receiver, but Trey Blockwell is back there. As the running back, nope, switches it up now. Man in motion over to up. I believe the defense jumped. Of course, they are going to say somebody on the offense moved, but in this case, I believe it was offside on the defense. Yep, I got it. Offside on the defense. So we'll take the yards any way we can, fans. Going to move the ball. And that is going to bring up, should be third and four to go. A very makeable, or, or let me use the correct word, an attainable. This should be an easily attained first down. You got uh, Perry in the backfield. There it is, going for the air. Oh, there he's out to the right hand, a left hand side, excuse me. And that looks like the play was out to uh, number 82 that time. Caleb Logan is a sophomore out of Gates, North Carolina. He's a big one, 6'4", lanky, 206. And easily getting the first down. Clock continues to run. 520 in this first quarter of play. It's a rainy, rainy and wet day at North Carolina Wesleyan College. But it's a happy day because it's homecoming. All right, here come the Bishops. Long setback, pass play. He's got a man in, oh, oh boy. I got to give it to him. Jasim Brown from the Pride, last second, jumped up there and knocked that ball away. That's going to stop the clock. It's going to stop the clock with 4.58 left in the first quarter. Still second down and 10 to go. Well, I should say still 10 to go. That's going to bring up second down for the Bishops. He's looking over the sideline, getting the play. This time number 27 is in the backfield. And that's Crank in the backfield. Got two men split. Actually three over to the right. You got Trips right. But they keep it on the ground. Quick hitter right between the tackles there. And number 27, Domino. Nope, sorry, Crank. 27 Crank on the call. See, in college you got two play, uh, two numbers. Uh, it can be on defense and offense. There's two number 27s, but Crank is the offensive number 27. <clears throat> Pardon me. Quarterback set one man. Kind of a tight formation. He rolls out to the right. He's got a, oh, he's got the fullback on his feet. He's good, and it looks like touchdown city. The quick hitter out to number 45, Tyler Watson, the 5'9", 250 pounder. He's got some beef, but he's got speed too. Kind of looks like Mike Allstott from the old NFL days. Touchdown for the Bishops. They're gonna go for the one point conversion, the kick. And number 31 in there, Rafa Niamater. He's from Spain, Valencia, Spain. It's up and it is good. All right, with 411 left in the first quarter of play, it's homecoming and Bishops jump out to a quick 10 to nothing lead against the pride of Greensboro College. All right, Bishop set up to kick off. The kicker, Nolan Wheeloff. I hope I got your name, Mr. Wheeloff. Gonna kick off to the Pride. They're looking to score first. Wesleyan really looking good today. High end over kick. The Pride fills it. They're gonna bring it up over the right hand side. He's got running room, number nine. He brings out and a pretty good run back for number nine, Waylon Webb. All right, Wesleyan's done a good job today of holding down the pride, not really giving them anything. Now let's hope they can uh, do the same in this set of downs. I'd like to remind you this game's brought to you by Taylor Financial Services, or Strategies rather, located at 4020 Capital Drive, Rocky Bow. 
Up motion on the field. Looks like two. One man stays in the backfield. Another guy tight. And they are going to keep it on the ground. But, oh, he breaks over to the right. St cannot turn that edge. To get a big gainer. And the pride pretty much keeping it on the ground. They're trying to get some sort of running game established. And that's going to bring up second down. And the scoreboard says eight to go, but that's mighty, mighty short. That's, I'm going to call it nine. <laughs> second and nine. Here come those battling bishops able to shut down the pride of Greensboro. Quarterback in the backfield, one, and he hands it off to his up back. Oh, no. The whole line says, welcome to Wesley and my friend. You're not going anywhere. Brain Specialty is one of our sponsors. Brain delivers products and services and solutions to our customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, Brain's a family owned and operated company. Our goal is to assist our customers and taking the next step to improve the appearance, health, and efficiency of their facilities. Pride comes to the line. Two men to the left, one to the right, long back. Kind of up, kind of motion in the backfield. There's a pass play. He's got, oh, it's tipped. Almost intercepted. Hey, he broke up the play. Number 46, Luke Moorhead there. He's from uh, Moreau, Georgia, 5'10", 210 pounder. And he's able to break up that play. Good job from the defense of North Carolina Wesleyan. All right, fourth and 10, and you know what that means. It's gonna be a punt. High snap, can they get to it? Nope. He gets off a real high hanging punt, excellent punt. He does not call for the catch. He's gonna get it going. Wait a minute, he takes down the official as well. Oh my goodness. I know the fans are saying, get out of the way. Right? Get out of the way, official. You brought my man down. <laughs> what kind of junk is that? Gotta watch my language. <laughs> That's right, he could have gotten five more yards. Referee, I, I, there's not a rule saying that we play the down, but uh, he was trying his best. I don't think I could move my 58-year-old legs that fast either. 219 left in the first quarter. Bishop's looking really good. This is the, on the balls on the 23. I think this is about as deep as they've gone. Oh, he's got running room. He's still going. Number 28, Jalen Perry follows his blockers over to the left-hand side. And I believe that's enough for a first down, or it's going to be mighty, mighty close. Ball's on the 30. Oh, it's not as close as I thought. I'm sorry for my angle, it looked much better. Ball's on the 30, it's second and three. First quarter winding down. Pepsi, everything's better with a Pepsi. Let's hope we'll call this down a Pepsi down, because we want a first down. He's got it. Follows his blockers on the left. Oh, he's stacked up. No going. The pride reads that one very well. I don't think he lost anything. Let's see where they spot the ball. Okay, he got back to the line of scrimmage. So it's going to bring up a third. Uh, I'm sorry. What do they do here? They're looking over, trying to decide what they're going to do. They're going to pass it. They're going to just run it up the middle. Wesleyan's got a decision to make as that game clock runs. Play clock's running also. We've got to get this play off. All right. Twins left. One man right. Third and three to go. Man in motion. He's there. Oh, it is a pass play. He's got a man over on the right hand side. Oh! There it is! I thought I saw it coming. The Greensboro Pride defensive back is shaking his head like what did I do? What did I do? Clearly pass interference. You can't grab the man. You can both go for the ball, but uh, it's a break for 
the battling bishops. And let's see where they're going to move it up. There they go. 15-yard penalty. And that's going to be first down for the bishops. And that's going to bring it way out to the 45. Ball rests on the 45, first and 10. Bishop's looking really good. And the penalties from the Prides hurting them. There is the quick hitter. He's still on his feet. He's breaking through. Oh, no, fumble! Man, what a great play. Makai Domino had it really going on. I'm sorry, Trevon Crank had it going on. It's a wet day. He gets hit, can't hold on to the potato, and he fumbles. So you can hear kind of, oh, uh, going through the crowd because they really had a good drive going on, moving the ball quite easily against the pride. All right, here come the pride. They're going to be on their own 43. They catch a break, and they're going to be going first and 10 from their own 43. Once again, they, oh, this time they got one man way left. They got twins right, one man long in the backfield. Defense has got four up front. See if they can get some penetration. Man in motion goes over to the right. He is going to go for the pass play. Now, looks like the receiver for the pride is like, um, did, was that pass interference? No. He, he ran into him. He bumped him, but the pride player kind of ran into the bishop, or battling bishop, so therefore no penalty. Wait a minute, penalty now against the pride. Let's see if they're going to move it back, five or ten. All right, that's going to bring up, I guess they replayed the down, maybe. They're saying first and 15. That's what happened. Replayed the down, but it's going to be a first and 15. Ball going all the way to the 38, and they're going negative yards. All right, twins left, twins right. Big play. Pass is coming. He's flushed to the right. He's going to keep it on his own. And he gives himself up smartly because I thought I saw some ram jam. Thank you, ma'am, coming up on him and bam. Let's see where that ball goes. One, two, he got a little bit out of that. Got back to the original line of scrimmage. So that's going to bring up a second and 10. So far, the bishops have done a good job containing the pride out of Greensboro College. Bishops leading 10 to nothing. Running out of shotgun. Hands off. Keeps it over on the right-hand side. It's a fake. He's got a first down, fans. Good uh, David Lockery hands off or fake. I should have said faked it. <laughs> the fake handoff to the middle. Looks like the defense bit on that. <clears throat> that gives a Lockery running room as he gets out to the right-hand side. So that's definitely a first down for the, the uh, pride. Okay, with no time remaining in the first quarter, that's going to bring up the second quarter coming. And with, uh, with three quarters of play left, very good football this afternoon. It's homecoming. That's Bishops 10, Pride 0. We'll be back after this on WHIG-TV. It's Wesley College Football. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG-TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. 
BRAME delivers product, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family-owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. We're back at Wesleyan College, beginning the second play, I mean second uh, quarter of play. Pride's on the Wesleyan 45, number nine with the ball. He turns the corner, but he can't stretch it, but so far, still on his feet though, he picks up pretty good yardage there for the Pride. I believe number nine with the uh, carry there, Webb. And that is going to bring up second and five. That's a whole lot of stretching. He was going more uh, vertical than he was horizontally. All right, the Pride, they're now operating left to right because it is the second quarter of play. Two men in the backfield, one to the right. It's a pass play. Got pressure. Can he get him? No, he eludes the tackle. Still going on his feet. The blockers for uh, the Pride, kind of keeping the Wesleyan guys at bay, but the quarterback is flushed out of the pocket, and he makes a mad dash for the sideline, and that's gonna bring up third down on about four, maybe, for, well, let's call it three. Third down and three for the visiting Pride out of Greensboro. It's the Greensboro College. Greensboro College. David Lockery up. Oh, it looks like a timeout. Yes, it's timeout on the field. Timeout on the behalf of the visiting pride. And before we go, Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, 50 years of service and county. So with 13.49 left in the second quarter of play, first half of play, it's Bishop's 10 and the pride of Greensboro College Zero will be back with more football right here on WHIG-TV. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capitol Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers products, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. We are back to action. Third and three, big play for the Wesleyan defense. Sends a big fella in the backfield in motion. Are they gonna keep it on the ground? No, nope. quick hitter right across the middle. It finds the weak spot in the defense. That pass good to the pride. And uh, that is out to number 88, Ryan Buchanan, the tight end from Havelock. So they found the weak spot in the Wesleyan defense on the pass play, just right there in the middle. Linebacker kind of missed an assignment more than likely. And that brings the ball down to the Bishop 27. So first and 10 for the pride. Man in motion, over to the right. You got splits left and right motion on, the, oh, oh. There's a flag on the play. Yep, I figured as much, motion. Motion is called against the Pride. 
Motion called against the pride of. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was getting ready to tell the referee, what are you doing, brother? He called a penalty on Wesleyan, but it was actually <laughs> against, against the pride. He kind of laughed too. First and 10, or excuse me, first and 15. Tell you what, the uh, pride's racking up a lot of penalty yardage. <clears throat> I know the coaches aren't happy about that. Wind's starting to pick up here at homecoming. Right, are they gonna go for another pass play this far back? And they do. He's gonna keep it on his feet. This time, Wesley and catches it. Great job keeping home. Linebacker picks that up, says, I'm not gonna be fooled again. In the words of the, uh, oh, wait a minute. Might take the penalty here. Let's see. Holding. Of course you're gonna take that penalty. That's a 10 yarder. Holding against the pride. Not to be uh, negative, but the pride playing kind of sloppy football. They're, they're matching the weather. The weather's sloppy, and so, with the, <laughs> so is the pride. To the advantage of the, the, the uh, bishops, though, that's the good thing. Right, the ball keeps moving back. It's now on the bishop 42, and believe it or not, it's first down and 25. Did they go to the air again? Let's see what happens. Nope, they keep it on the ground. Bishop say, no way. We're not gonna fall for that. And he catches him maybe around the 40. Okay, looks like they are gonna spot it at the 39. So the ball comes to rest on the uh, 30, I'm sorry, 41. Not on that side, it was on this side of the 40. I looked at it wrong. So it's actually on the 41 of the Bishops. They're looking over, getting their defensive play. And the Pride's looking over to their sideline, and they're gonna get their uh, offensive play. Ball on the uh, 41, second and 24. They gotta go to the air. No pass interference. Good defensive play from the Bishops there. I believe that was uh, number 39 for the Bishops. Yep, Tim Carmichael. He's the uh, safety doing his job, making sure nothing happens. All right, second quarter played. Bishops out to a nice 10 to nothing lead, but the, the uh, looks like the pride moving the ball inch by inch. Right, third and 24. Probably a pass play coming up. Let's see what happens. Three men to the right. One man in the backfield. There is the pass. He's got the ball. It's a screen. He's still on his feet. Looked like it might have been a little holding going on in the backfield, but they didn't catch it. And what was going to be a third and 24? The Pride gets the ball all the way down all the way down to the 24, but it's still seven to go. Of course, the Pride's gonna go for it. I mean, that far down. They're on the 24, four and seven, that's a no brainer. Do they keep it on the ground? Do they do the little underneath quick pass? Let's see what transpires. All right, he's got time, there's the pass. He's got it over on the right-hand side. I believe they stopped him but we're gonna find out for the official spot. All right, it appears they were able to stop him on that play. That's a good thing for the Bishop, so they'll take over first and 10. First and 10 for the Bishops, and let's see, they're gonna be starting, if I can get my bearings here, where I'm sitting, it's kinda of hard to see where the ball is sitting. Okay. They're gonna spot it at the 20. All right, here come the Bishops from their own 20. One man in the backfield, tight ends, and two to the left. Looks like a running play might be coming, and it is. Straight up the gut. If it doesn't, uh, you know, it's wet. Try to protect the ball, keep it on the ground. And it looks like uh, 
once again, uh, Perry. Looks like number 28, Perry, with the carry that time. He grinds out a couple for the Bishops. That's going to bring up second down and eight. Second down and eight for the homecoming Bishops. They've got a fullback back there this time. One man split. They're going to do a little pass play over to the right. He's got it. Or did he? Let me see if they signal it. Did they? I can't see if he gave him the catch or not. Yeah. Kind of hard to see him over there. They gave the, um, let's see, the wide receiver, Sean Washington. He did catch the ball. So we're going to bring up third down and two. Third down and two. Be nice if the Bishops could convert this uh, third down situation to a first. He keeps it on the ground. Ooh, he stacked up. The Pride saw that coming, unfortunately. So the uh, Pride making, uh, spin up a defensive stand there. And that means that the Bishops will have to punt now. So the Bishops are gonna be punting. Clock continues to run. 9.27 left in the second quarter. Or let's go on and say the first half of play. 10 to nothing. Bishops with the lead. Man's back to pump. Do so you go for a fake punt here? Nah, you're going to punt it away. All right, the pride gets it, but he's met immediately, and he's brought down by three bishops. But pretty good, pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty good punt. And pretty good um, field position for the Pride. So they kind of moved, the Pride was able to move the ball that last, the uh, last set of downs, but then the Bishops stopped him. Of course, they dug them, uh, the, the Pride dug themselves a hole. They had so many yards, yardage, and penalties. But the, uh, they were able to stop them. Let's see if the Bishops can stop them this time. They're kind of going to a pass game this time. Let's see what they're going to do. It's wet. Do they keep it on the ground or do they pass it? Okay, fake. Oh, oh way over his head. He is uh, kind of forced to pass, a real ugly pass. And that goes over to number 88, Ryan Buchanan. And that's going to stop the clock, making it second and 10. Second and 10. Not much time running off the clock there. But uh, less than nine minutes left in the first half. This has jumped down to that quick 10 to nothing lead. And they've held the, uh, the pride today. All right, looking for a man downfield. Almost, look, I thought he was gonna pick it off. But uh, I think it was number 16 for the, he caught the pass. Corey Davis, I believe, caught that pass. And he's able to uh, get, move the ball a little bit, so we're going to call it third and four. Third and four. And the ball now is on the, uh, let's see, the 47. So they are in Bishop territory. Ryan's in Bishop territory. Looks like another timeout. Okay, timeout called by the Pride of Greensboro College. And with that, we'll take a timeout. You're watching college football from North Carolina Wesleyan College on WHIG TV. Big shift on the part of the, you got four guys to the left. Long back, there's a screen over to the right. Wait a minute, oh! Trick plays don't work here at North Carolina Wesleyan. It appeared it was going to be a, uh, a pass over to the man back, and he was going to heave it downfield, but no going. That blew up in their face like a bomb. So that play was no going. So that's going to bring up fourth down, 14 to go. Ball rest on the Pride 43 now. One man deep. Over his head, what a break! 
What a break for the uh, <laughs> for the bishops. I got excited there. It's wet. The ball must have got a spin on it, and it went way over the punter's head, and he smartly booted it out the back. He booted it out of the back, so that becomes a touchback. So what's going to happen now, the ball should be brought out to around the 25. But we'll see what they do. No flags on the play. I tell you what, we'll take a quick break as they discuss everything. You're watching College Football, Wesleyan Football on WHIG-TV. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG-TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers product, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. I miss, uh, misrepresented that last play. That was not a touchback. I was incorrect. That really is a safety, which is worth two points. So it looks like they're giving the, um, yeah, they're going to give the, the I'm, I'm a little bit confused here. They're still discussing. There's a flag down. They still got the play. They've given the bishops two points, though. Bishops 12, pride zero. Yeah, usually with a safety, the opposing team has to punt again. Okay. But it looks like they're going to put the ball back. Okay, they're going to take away the safety. All right, I'm as confused as you are, fans. <laughs> I know football, but not this well. I didn't think that looked right. Why would they give them a, uh, a safety? So, scores back to 10 to nothing. So, they're waiting for a call. It's weird. <laughs> so... They, they, well, it gives the Bishops fantastic field position. I'm not going to argue about that. They're setting up a play, taking as much time as that game clock as they can. So it's going to be first down, and it looks like they're going to spot the ball on the 10. So the Bishops are going to take advantage of that. Now there's a discussion by the referees on the side and he's explaining to the coach what's going on and while they're doing that I'll tell you some of our sponsors that we really appreciate Taylor Financial Strategies located at 4020 Capital Drive in Rocky Mount Brain Specialty founded in 1924 serving the Carolinas in Virginia and they're family owned and operated their goal is to assist the customers in taking the next step to improve the appearance, health, and efficiency of their facilities. Pepsi, everything's better with Pepsi, and Piedmont Service Group. Building efficiency and sustainability, 50 years of service, and they are counting. All right. They, <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna say I'm stand corrected, because they keep giving two points, two points, back and forth, back and forth. So they have thrown a flag. And the flag would have been against the pride. 
but what they've decided to do here, okay, now if I'm correct, with the safety, you're gonna have to punt the ball, or it's really called a free kick. You're gonna do a free kick to the offense. So I was confused by what was going on in the field. I knew the football. I mean, I, I know it now well enough to know. I, I thought they were gonna do the free kick minutes ago. So this is called a free kick. Typically they have to punt it, but they're gonna let him kick it from the tee. So the Bishops do get the two point for the safety. They get a kick off from around the 20. It's a very high rolling kick. Is it gonna roll into the end zone? And it does. So really, that was a smart thing for the Bishops to do is let it roll into the end zone so they can get the ball moved out to around the 25 when we get underway again. So we got a little bit of time. We'll take a break right here on WHIG-TV. And you're enjoying Bishop football on WHIG-TV. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers products, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. All right. Bishop first and 10, they're gonna go with a heavy hitter up the middle. No going. They really held him, the pride did, going straight up the gut. They might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but we'll see, wait for the official call. Actually, they say they lost a yard. So that is gonna be second and 11. It's gonna be second and 11 for the Battling Bishops as they are working east to west. All right, three men to the right, one in the backfield. They're gonna go for the pass play. He's got a man open and looks like he cradled it. They do, they say he caught it. That's number nine, Trey Blackwell. So he gets the credit for the catch there. Bring it up second, uh, first, sorry, first and 10 again. Looks like the pass players are going. Looks like they got the heavy artillery in the backfield though. And they do keep it on the ground. He's got room off the middle, he's still on his feet. Busting through. Number 27, Crank. And pardon the pump, but it, he, he's cranking out the yards. Enough for a Bishop, first down. All right, brings up first down and 10. Bishop still in their territory around the 46. Really doing a good job moving the ground, and they're gonna keep it on the ground again. Clyde says, not this time. Not this time. If he gets up, we'll see who got the ball there. Looked like Crank again, it was. Crank's a freshman, he's six foot tall, and 187. Kind of trotting off the field, number 45, the fullback. So maybe they'll go for a, another on the ground. Looks more like a running place coming up. You got your tight ends in, one man. And they do, they keep it on the ground again. 
Not really sure about the play calling right here. That didn't work the last time. They tried it again. It worked that one time and they shut them down. Okay, number 28 on the carry that last time. That was Perry out of Bond, North Carolina. All right, you got one man left. Two men split to the right. Man in the backfield. It's a pass play. He's got a man downfield. Yeah, oh my goodness. You can hear the crowd. Hit Trey Blackwell. Couldn't hold on to it. I guess I'll give him a break. It's slippery out there. Boy, I thought he had that. What a pass play. Great pass play from your quarterback. All right, one man in the backfield is going to punt, bring it up fourth and six. Oh, they got him on the hard count, I believe. At least the bishops are pointing toward. They're pointing toward the uh, side of the pride. Like I said, the pride is really shut, shot themselves in the foot all game long. Oh, boy, hey, you hear the crowd, go for it. Go for it. And that looks like what they're going to do. Of course, the ball rests in uh, pride territory. It looks like the ball is on the 46. Fourth and two. Looks like you got your big heavy artillery in there. One man in the backfield. It looks like it's going to be timeout from somebody. Timeout, Wesleyan. So a timeout on the field. 4.52 left in the first half. Bishop's out to a 12 to nothing lead. They're going to call an excellent play. I feel it. And with that, we'll be back with more college football right here on WHIG TV. We're back in action. Handoff. Can he keep on? Oh, he looks, he's grinding, grinding, grinding. Can he? Wait a minute. Fumble. Oh, no. Did he fumble it? Or was it forced out? It looks as though the pride is saying we've got it. It's mighty wet out there, fans. It's hard to hold on to that pig skin when it gets wet. So it, it's going to be first down and 10. It's going to be first down and 10 for the pride out of Greensboro College. But let's take Solace. If he had punted from there, he might have gotten it back there. So let, let's look at the positive side. Might not have gotten that good a return, but we got to be positive here. All right, first and 10. Ball on the pride 46, man in motion to the left. Two men split, left and right. One man in the backfield. Man in motion now all the way around to the side. Hands off to the left. He's on his feet. Picks up about seven or eight. And that's your running back for the uh, Pride. I believe that's number 20. But the Pride running back picks up a little bit. And that's going to be up second down and four. So he picked up about six. That's what I thought, about six or seven yards there. That's going to bring up second and four. Let's see if the defense can hold him. Come on, Bishops. He's sneaking up. There's the handoff. Roos! He was smitten at the line of scrimmage. I shall smite thee, he said. Well, the bishops, you know, being a Wesleyan college, got to use some biblical terms once in a while. So, moves it to the line of scrimmage. Ball is on the 50, and it's going to be third and six. So he got up to the line of scrimmage, not the original. 
third and six. Let's see if the Bishops can put a little something on him. Man goes way in motion. That's that quick hitter. Oh, man. It's that little, I call it uh, New England Patriot move. Get a man in the middle there and just pop it out to him. And uh, he gets the first down there. Look like they're running by, I mean, they're tight in. So he just kind of slipped under the coverage. Linebacker couldn't pick up the coverage in time and that makes it first down and 10 to go for the prize. Working on the Bishop 37. Bishop still with a 12 to zero lead. He's the keeper, oh man! What a great play from the Bishops. They said, no sir, Mr. Quarterback. David Lockery, we got your number. You're not gonna get us and bite on the fake handoff. And they bring him down. Second down, 15 to go. Big loss on the plate. Lots of penalties for the pride today. This time kind of playing kind of penalty free. All right, you got trips right. One man to the left. Man in motion going toward the left now. And it's a big time pass play. Pressure, pressure. Okay, it was a, there was a, it was sort of a, I'd say a man in the vicinity. So he's not gonna be called with, uh, with uh, intentional grounding. So that's gonna bring up third down and 15. Very excellent uh, penetration from the line of the North Carolina Wesleyan College Bishops. Put in a lot, a lot of pressure on the quarterback for the pride. He had to roll out, roll out, roll out, and he knew if he threw that, it was gonna be picked off. All right, is this a pass play? Are they gonna, so you got three. Split to the right, up, flag. Let me see what's going on now. I'm watching the referee. Mm. Delay a game. Another pride penalty. I know the coaching staff from the, from the pride is going crazy. The bishops are like, yeah, any yards you give us, we'll take. And the, the chain keeps going backwards. So now, the ball is on the 46 of the Bishops. And that's going to bring up a third, and you heard me correctly, 20. Third and 20. All right, looks like a pass play coming up. It is. Pressure coming in the middle. Fumble! Fumble! And the Bishops, they knock it out of the quarterback's hand. Wow, what penetration from the Bishops. Now that's excellent play, ladies and gentlemen, and that only comes from good coaching. I know Jeff Fiv uh, uh, <laughs> Filkowski is very happy about that uh, defensive stand there. Defensive coordinators, Brian Williams, he's saying, that's my boys, that's my boys. <laughs> All right, with 2.02 left in the first quarter of play, can the Bishops, I mean second quarter, can the Bishops put some more points on the board? And they just go for the smash mouth right up the middle. And they're able to get some good grand, uh, good yardage grinding and out on the ground. Now the running play, the, ball, the uh, clock does continue to move. So a minute 40 left in this first half of play, second quarter. Okay, you got men split twins right. Your tight end is tight over on the right-hand side. One man in the backfield. Are we gonna keep it on the ground? He does, kind of a high snap. He's caught, almost as he touched the ball. He might have ground out about a yard, and that's what they're gonna give him. So here we go, ball still in the territory belonging to the Bishops. Ball is on the 48 now. Third and two. Clock still continues to tick. It would be nice if they could get this first down. 
maybe, okay, clock's ticking. Fullback comes off the field. Okay, looks like a pass play setting up. You got trips left. Okay. Timeout on the field. Timeout Wesleyan with 34 seconds left in the first half of play. And we got timeout on the field with the Bishops leading 12 to nothing. We will be back with more football action right here on WHIG TV. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers products, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. We are back. Big play for the Bishops, third and two. Can they get this first down? Oh no! Somebody must have missed a blocking assignment. He is met as soon as he gets the ball, unfortunately. And that brings the ball back. So that's gonna bring up fourth down. Fourth down, 26 seconds left in the first half of play. Fourth down, looks like the punt squad should be coming on, but I've seen some uh, trickery going on in other games. And could they get a first down or go for the bomb and get a touchdown out of it? Who knows? It's almost like, what do you got to lose? 26 seconds. They've been able to contain the uh, pride fairly well. All right, you got your gunners split. They're gonna run down the field as fast as they can to get the man. And let's see, they're gonna try to call him off. There's the, I can, it's a, oh, I think it got touched. It's a high spiraling punt. It didn't go very far. And uh, the, let's see, number 85, that's uh, Jaden Spruill, number 85 for the Bishops catches the ball, or it would have taken a pride bounce even further. So smart play. 18 seconds left in this first half of play. Bishops need to play some very good contained defense since the since they've been able to uh, hold the Bishops have been able to hold the pride all day to no points. You hate to see him give up a big play right here at the end. One man split left, another one right. Pride working left to right. He keeps it on the ground. He's moving. Keep him, gotta contain him. And that's enough to a uh, first down. That should stop the clock. It does, it stops the clock. Seven seconds, enough for maybe one more play. Hands it off again, he's moving and grooving, but through the middle, they bring him down this time. And with triple zeros on the clock, no time left in the first half. It is homecoming here at North Carolina Wesleyan, and they're gonna uh, have their homecoming uh, festivities. And we're gonna take a break now. So hold on, and we'll have more action with the Battling Bishops leading 12 to nothing as they go into the locker room getting ready for the second half of play. You're watching College Football on WHIG TV.
You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers products, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family-owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group. Building efficiency and sustainability. Commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group. We make buildings more efficient. Hi everybody, Tim Taylor with you on this rainy, rainy, well it's kind of cleared up now, can't say that, it's a drizzly, but very nice homecoming celebration. I don't know what that was from the pride, but high kick. Wesleyan fields it. They've got a little bit of a lane going over on the left-hand side. Can he break it? No. Well, he's still going. Keep rolling along. He says, bring me down if you can. So Wesleyan comes back from the halftime, still ready to put it on the pride. They went into the um, first half, as I said, with a 12 to nothing lead. And can they add a little bit more? Because like I said, if the Pride scores a touchdown and another touchdown, you know, they're up by two. So pretty much a, a two score game though. Here they go. Keeping it on the ground again, up the middle. And once again, Jalen Perry carries the ball. Clock continues to roll, of course. Running plays roll, pass plays stop it. Okay, we're getting ready for the second down. He only got back to the line of scrimmage, so that's gonna bring up second down and 10. Going with sort of a uh, two to the left this time, one to the right, pass play. And there it is over to the right-hand side. And over to the side, Caleb Logan, the tight end sophomore, 6'4", 206 out of Gates County, North Carolina. I think it, that is the second touch he, or target he's had today. And let's see if Wesleyan can maybe get this passing game. They keep trying to go up the middle. And I think, um, like I said, it's easy to be the, the announcer <laughs> coach, but it looks like they're kind of, kind of reading that thing up the middle but let's see what happens on this play. One man in the backfield again. He rolls out over to the right. He's got a man in the middle. There he is. Number nine, Trey Blackwell. He holds on to it this time in the rainy weather. And that, as they say, is a first down, Bishops. Battling Bishops looking good in this first half of play. That's what you do. You get them biting in the middle, and once they bite, You've got the passing game. You can open it up a little bit. And that's what the Battling Bishops are doing. All right, here we go. Back on the ground, gonna hit it. He's got room. Oh, yes, he does. Now that was a great one. A lot of pushing it along. And Jalen Perry with the carry that time. Helmet comes off. He's got to come out, of course, for the equipment change. And it running back now, looks like um, Gary Days. He's at a semi or kiss me, Florida, if way you want to pronounce it. Okay, number 45, your fullbacks in there, Watson. You got your men up tight. Oh, they, get, they got him on the pass play. Oh, just off his fingertips, a little bit too much on the ball. Intended target out there, number 82, and that is Logan, Caleb Logan. The chest off his fingertips, pass kind of kind of sailed just a little bit high. All right, it's going to stop the clock. 
Stops the clock, 12.30 left in the third quarter. It's third down and three to go. Third down and three. Got them spread out now. You've got uh, tight end, but two men split to the right. One over to the left. you got one big man in the backfield, and they go to the middle. He's still grinding, still grinding. They're going to blow the whistle. Nobody wants to get hurt there. A lot of times twisted ankles happen when you're all in the scrum, we call it. And coming off the bottle of pile, that's number 25 on the carry that time. And that is Gary Days, Gary Days. All right, fourth down, two to go. We need a big push on this. Looks like the Pride is making uh, defensive adjustments as well. Watson in at fullback. Days at the running back. There he is! Watson! On his feet has to be wrestled out of back. What a play! And that's going to be number two. I'm sorry, number six, your quarterback, Hirschman. Over to 45, Watson, he was at the fullback spot. He slipped out and did the little Christian McCaffrey thing. And that is a first down for the Bishops. All right, all the way down to the 21. It would be nice if the Bishops could just go right down the field and score at the very beginning of this second half and make a statement. All right, going to keep it on the ground. Oh, he's met. I think they got his number that time. Jalen Perry gets nothing. Uh, he might have gotten back. Let's see, second down. They gave him one. So that's going to be second down and nine for the Bishops. Welcome, everyone, to the um, oof. To homecoming. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. I'm telling you, number 27 that time on the carry. And that's uh, Crank. But unfortunately, they had Crank's number on that. Had Crank's number. I guess, like, like I said, they're trying to get that running so they can get the players binding in the middle, catch somebody over in the flats, and uh, get a pass play going. All right, he's calling out the play from the line. He's in the backfield, Hirschman. Two men left, one right. He's looking up. Oh, it's tapped. I tell you what, that's great defense. You got to give it to him, even though visiting uh, Austin Longworth tapped that ball, or I think he was going to be off to the races for a great play. And that's going to bring up fourth down. I'm hearing field goal from the sideline. And let's see if they are going to call for the field goal. Okay, it's going to be a field goal attempt. And the ball is on the 22. Timeout. Bishops. I don't know if he didn't like the way things were getting set up. Maybe they're going to change and actually go for it. It's actually. Okay, he said no delay. Timeout. It's actually fourth down. The. Uh, Scoreboard is still showing third down. That would be nice, but it's still, it's gonna be fourth down and 16. The ball rests on the 22 of the Pride. We're gonna keep it right here as they get set up for the field goal. Your kicker, let's see. I might butcher his last name, but Rafi, Rafi Niederlater, Niederlater. Liedernagen, there you go, Liedernagen. He's from Valencia, Spain. All right, let's see what happens. There's the spot. It's up and 
and it's short. I think it got tipped a little bit. All right, so what turned what was going a great drive by the Bishops, kind of stymies. Um, they decided a great uh, running uh, pass play out of the backfield for Watson, and it should have set up a great uh, scoring drive. Kind of stymies there. So here come the Bishops on defense now. Bishops setting up on defense. Pride out of Greensboro College. It's 9.46 left in this third quarter of play. Third quarter is homecoming. Bishop still hanging on to that 12 to nothing lead. 12 to nothing. Field goal, touchdown, extra point, and a safety. All the ways you can score. All right, he's open on the right-hand side. Missed tackle by number two. They should have had him in the background, in the backfield. And uh, Binion Williams just, just did not put his on his legs. He kind of did an arm tackle. He broke right through it. And that's enough for a first down for the prize. All right, basic tackling and blocking, guys. I know you've been coached well, so let's put it to the test now. Moving right along, Pride comes to the line. They're going with a very stout set this time. One man over to the left, and that's it. You've got three up men, though, but they're in. And they do hand it off. He's going. He broke through the secondary. He's still on his feet. Going over to the sideline. Can he be caught? And he is finally brought down. Wait a minute. Flag, flags. Let's hope it's a holding call. It is. I was just saying, how in the world did he get that big a hold? <laughs> and it's a holding. So that negates a good run by the pride. And you've got to march it backwards. Pride has just shot their self in the foot all game long. Just can't seem to uh, get anything going. And when they do, bring it back. All right, that's going to bring the ball backwards. Let's see where they're going to spot that. Maybe the 22? Yeah, it looks like we're around the 22 now. And that's going to bring up first and 10. And the ball, it's first and 10, but it, that's a 10-yard penalty. So first and 20. I checked that. I made a mistake. First and 20. Ball on their own 22. Spreading it out. Two men way to the left. There's a motion. There's a pass play in the back. Oh, hits him in his weak spot. Hit him in his hands. Hit him right in the hands, and Wailing Webb dropped it. I'll give him a little bit. Hey, it's wet, but come on. If the quarterback's going to set you up like that, but I think he heard what I call footsteps. The Wesleyan uh, defenders were moving in on him, and he kind of, kind of got shook by the defense. Telefinancial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive in Rocky Mount. They're one of your sponsors today. Go by there and see them and get your money in order. Or finances, I should say. Two to the right, one to the left. Pass play, quick underneath pass. And, ooh, looks like uh, the Wesley man was taken out by his own man, bless his heart. So the little sneak out of the backfield pass seemed to have worked. And let's see where they're going to spot the ball. It looks like uh, around the 30. Looks like they got it out, out to the 30. Still going to be 12 yards to go. So third and 12 with the ball on the prize 30. Getting set up. You got trips right. One man. Big pass play coming up. Holding. I saw it myself. Why did they not catch that? They had the back of the man's jersey. I'm sorry, not being negative, but they missed that call. They missed that big time. I've got 2200 vision and I saw that. That's horrible. All right, they should be moved back another 10, but they got a break. So that's gonna be fourth and 12, ball still on the pride 30. 8.24 left in the third quarter. There's the punt. I think he got a little piece of that. And Wesleyan smartly takes away, but it takes a Wesleyan bounce. 
goes just a little bit. So as Wesleyan sets up, we're going to take a real quick break. This is Wesleyan football on WHIG TV. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers product, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. We are back to action. Wesleyan just got the punt. Looks like a, a two men to the uh, left, and they're going to keep grinding it out, it seems. Okay, Jalen Perry on the carry. Jalen Perry on the carry. Hirschman comes over, and looks like he's going to get the call. I'm trying to see the when there's whistles on the field. Oh, I'm sorry, injured player down. So with the injured player down, we're going to take another break right here at WHIG TV. All right, there they go. He's going to roll out to the left. Does he have a man? He does. Oh, it's not the way. Just at the last second, he tried to thread the needle but couldn't get it in there. And that's going to be an incomplete pass. Stops the clock. Stops the clock with 7.59 left in the third. And speaking of third, it's third down and eight to go. Third down and eight to go. Wesleyan really needs to connect on this one and show the pride. We're going to break you back on this. It's always good to see a third down conversion. Wesleyan's got trips left. One man to the right, tight end tight. Got a fullback in there, one man. They keep it on the ground and he gets some yardage there. I'm trying to see if I can get the number when he comes up, who carried the ball. That looked like number 28. And I'm correct, it was number 28. That's uh, Jalen Perry on the carry. I guess uh, you don't want to pass that deep back, I guess it'd be a pick six or something. Wesleyan electing to keep it on the ground. So it's fourth and two, and they are going to punt. Hurry up and get enough men out there. You got to have 11 on the field. Looks like they're going to get antsy. There's the hike. It's up. It's still hanging. And it goes out of bounds. It goes out of bounds. So Wesleyan trots out on the field to go on defense. The pride will be setting up on offense. We still have 7-11 left in this third quarter play. It seems to be going a little bit slower than the other quarters. Back and forth, back and forth. No scores from the uh, Pride, but Wesleyan has not scored in this quarter either. All right, did a big defensive stand. Ball is on the Pride 30, coming out first and 10. Right. Lockery, the quarterback, he's got twins left and right. There's a block underneath pass, setting up a quarter. Oh, he's brought down three guys. Fantastic defense from the Bishops. Fantastic. Brain specialty. Brain delivers product, services, and solutions to our customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, we remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the community, communities where we live and work. Our goal is to assist our customers in taking the next step to improve the appearance, health, and efficiency of their facilities. Whew. All right. Underplay, underway again. 
Twins left and right. Man slipping out of the backfield. He goes across the middle. He's met. And he hits again. They're blowing whistles. Will they give him his forward progress? We'll find out. And that's number nine, Waylon Webb. Freshman uh, wide receiver kind of does that in the uh, underling cut. That's going to bring up third down. Okay, it's going to bring up third down and one to go. Third down and one. The defense needs to be pretty stout on this. He's standing on the wrong side of the ball. He needs to move. There he goes. All right, they're going to go with the one man over to the left. One, two, uh, trips right. Two men in the backfield. They go for the pass play. He tries to run it up the middle. Can he be caught? Hit him. He eludes the tacklers. And the Pride's quarterback, David Lockery, 6'3", 195 pounder. He eludes tackles. You cannot, I'm gonna say it, call me negative. You can't hit a guy high. Hit him low. He can't run if you got his legs. Come on. We gotta be stout defense. Let's bring it up now. 526, clock's ticking. Ball on the 45 of the pride. They get another four tries to make it. There's a big pass play coming up. He's holding him again, but they let him get away with it. I thought if you grabbed a man's jersey, but uh, I guess that was incidental, they call it. <laughs> I've never heard of incidental holding. All right, anyway, letting him get away with a little bit there. Uh, that is gonna stop the clock because it's a passing play. Pride looking over to the sideline to get their play. Wesleyan looking over to their side to get their defensive play. And here comes the Pride. All right, spreading it out this time. Man goes in motion over to the left, they're set. A little bit of a high snap, and they keep it right up the middle. Linebackers doing their job that time and uh, brings him down, but not until he can eke out a, a couple of yards there. Gives him two on the play. It's going to be third and eight. Ball still in pride territory. Wesley will be, uh, be advantageous to keep them in pride territory. We don't like it when they get over in the Bishop territory. Okay, here we go, guys. Third and eight. They're gonna see if they can make them jump, and they don't. It's a pass play. Interception! Number five with the pick. That's Corey Hunter, a freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina. That's better than a punt. Give us the ball. Good job. And that stops the clock. Well, wait a minute, the officials are talking. And I'm gonna go on and, and mention Pepsi real quick. Pepsi, everything's better with Pepsi. And let's hope they can get set up holding. Oh my goodness. They called defensive holding, which is sort of like pass interference. And unfortunately, what I call an interception has been reversed, and the pride will be on offense in Bishop territory. First and 10 from their own, uh, from the Bishop 47, going with the tight formation, trying to get them to go off, hands off straight up the gut. He's got running room. I tell you what, the pride just owning the defensive line of the Bishops. They've got to do something. You've got to be more stout, fellas. And that's going to bring up second down as they just, he kind of just walks through the middle. So that is going to bring up second down. I'm going to call it four. Second down and four for the visiting pride. Looks like momentum's kind of shifted to the pride, so the bishops need to step up and stymie this. Do they go for the running play again? Yes, they do. This time around the right-hand side, he's got running room and he slips. Is it enough for a first down? We'll check where they spot the ball. It appears to be. It's gonna stop the clock if they move the chains. 
We'll see where they're moving it. Nope, they short. He's very short. I'm going to say third down on about a foot to go. Third down at a foot to go. The defense gets set. They're owning them up the middle. Are they going to go straight up the middle again? They've got a real tight formation. Man split left, though. And they do. Go straight up the gut. I believe he stopped him. I believe the bishop stopped him that time. He did. Matter of fact, he lost a little bit. He lost a little bit. So that's still going to bring up fourth and one. It was like a fourth and a foot. Now it's fourth and one. Defense needs to get going. We need the defense to show up. Okay. Are they going to run it straight up the gut? You got motion over on the right-hand side to try to fool them. There's the, it, it, let's see if you can get him in the backfield. There, the, the bishops are, are signaling that they've stopped them. The pride are moving their arms like we've got it. And we're going to see the officials, they're saying get out of the way so we can see the spot. Let me see what they signal. I'm going to stay right here with you folks, and I'm looking just like you are. Was he short? They're doing the measurement. The choir, the... And the bishops hold! That's what we needed. That's what the bishops needed, a shot in the arm, and it appears momentum, Mr. Moe, is sitting on the Wesleyan bench now. So let's see what the Wesleyans got up their sleeve as they start in their own uh, territory. It's going to be first and 10. They're starting on their own 33. Not great field position, but decent. I'm going to call that decent field position. Okay, let's see. We've got split to the right. Man in the backfield. There's a pass play. Does he see a man open? He's still scrambling. And he just throws it away. Appeared the uh, intended, looked like the intended, uh, it was number 82. Logan was your intended target, but he threw it a little bit low, just I guess trying to prevent the uh, interception. I don't know. All right, got a man uh, switching out now. Let's see if they're going to go for the ground again or go for a passing play. He's coming to the line now. Hirschman looks left and right. You got a man split left and right. You got two men in the backfield. They keep it on the ground. He's got running room. Here he goes. He's breaking it wide open. Now it finally paid off. That's number 23. 23 for the Bishops. Anthony Bird. But it appears it's going to be taken back with the penalty. <laughs> Holding, Bishops. Ooh, that hurts. That's a 10 yard variety. Man. I'll tell you what, that's tough when, when big plays like that are taken away from you. That's gonna bring up second and 20. Second and 20. Do the Bishops dare to pass this deep in their own territory? Or that they just kind of grind it out. Maybe Lightning can st strike twice and you can go through the middle again. Okay, looks like the same setup. No, you got uh, tight end and two guys to the right. One man split left. Going to go for the pass. It's tipped. Intercepted. And it is. It's intercepted by the Pride. No flags on the play. And that is a turnover for the Bishops. So what started at the first of the game with turnovers hurting the pride and the Bishops able to capitalize and make scores, it's kind of turned around a little bit and the Bishops are having penalties and turnovers. But they are still not uh, being scored on by the pride as of yet. All right, they had a great defensive stand this last time. 
Can the Bishops put up a good defensive stand this time? And let's see if they can do it. All right, men split left and right. Man in the backfield, tight ends tight. Man in motion over to the left. And it's a jet sweep. It's a, oh my goodness, it's a fumble. They went for the double reverse. And it appears the Bishops have it. it and they are signaling Bishop first down, or I'm sorry, it's going to be first down and 10 as the Bishop disrupt the double reverse, causing the pride to fumble. And that is a break for the Bishops. Now, the Bishops have to capitalize on this. Early in the game, they were able to do that. They were able to capitalize on the turnovers and get some scores out of it, just shy of pride territory. They keep it on the ground, and he's tripped up. And let's see who had the ball that time. All they're doing is going through the middle there, 20. If they'll turn to the side, I'll tell you his number. I can't see it. It looks like number 23 that time. And if so, that's Anthony Bird. All right, bring it in the play now. And this is going to be Hirschman. It's getting kind of quiet around here. Second and 10, not really getting anything on the ground, but they're bunched up. I think they're going to keep it on the ground again. They do. He's got some running room. He's still on his feet. Close to a first down. Very close to a first down. And they've kind of switched up on their running. Bird getting the majority of the carries this set of downs. Very close, third and we're gonna call it a, a, a short two. I'm gonna be gracious. All right, it's third down and two. The uh, line game is working, got a switch out now. Watson back in the game at fullback. So it looks like you're gonna have two men in the backfield, one man over to the right. Did you keep it on the ground and punish them? And that's what they do. He's still crawling. He's still moving. Let's see where they spot it. It's always hard to tell where they're going to get the yards. Keep it on the ground again. They're calling uh, Bird's number. I think that was the third, third run in a row straight up the middle. They're thinking they can grind it out. That time they got no yardage. It's kind of scaring me that uh, that the, uh, the, the, when he hikes the ball, it's coming in high. Okay, timeout on the field. Oh, I beg your pardon. I got so engrossed, that is triple zeros. So that's timeout on the field to get set for the fourth quarter of play. Fourth quarter of play, when we come back, we'll have 15 minutes of exciting action. Uh, North Carolina Wesleyan College as they kick a lead into the the final quarter of the game, 12 to 0. You're watching college football on WHIG TV. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers products, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. Hi everybody, Tim Taylor calling the action here at North Carolina Wesleyan College by Alma Mater. It's glad to be back here. Okay, they're gonna punt with fourth and two to go. Fourth and two, looks like the Wesleyan Battling Bishops will punt. There's the, 
There it is. It's a good spiraling punt. Let's see where it does. It makes a crazy bounce, and it's taking a huge bishop bounce. So fine punt by the bishops. Although they were uh, in pride territory, it was just barely. So smart move, pin back your opponent deep in their own territory and make them earn it. So we're gonna be rolling along in the fourth quarter, so you'll probably hear me say, say for instance, 1444 in the fourth quarter of play, or it's 1448 left in the game, or this half. So I'll refer to it all kinds of things, but it's only 1448 left in the game. How about that? All right, here we go, Bishops. Got them set down. Looks like the uh, looks like they're going to go for a pass play, maybe. Two men split left, right? And it is. It's a big pass play. He's got men over the middle. And, oh, almost picked off by the Bishops. You know he hates that. Could have got it. But as the man used to say, close, but no cigar. I also like to remind you about Pepsi. Pepsi. You know, everything's better with a Pepsi. Even my ribs I cooked on the grill last night. Piedmont Service Group. Building efficiency and sustainability for 50 years of service. And you know what? They're counting. All right, you had an injured man. He's hobbling off. Of course, both sides giving him a uh, hand to get off the field. I'm going to tell you something about football. You're going to get hurt every game. And as my coach said, you're going to get hurt, but are you injured? Injured means they drag you off. You're going to be, you know, you're going to limp off, you're going to get tough, you're going to go back out there. All right, we're back to action. And let's see what they've got up their sleeve this time. Got twins right, one man to the left. Did they keep it on the ground and call him off? Got a man in motion again. And he's keeping it on the ground, cuts back to the middle. He's there, he is brought down. So the Bishop's not allowing much yardage on the play. Bishop's looking good on defense, pinning their opponents way back. And it looks like it's gonna be third down and eight. So the Bishop's looking good. Got a Bishop limping off, but somebody's in there for him. Gotta work that ankle out, and he'll be on back out there. All right, Bishop's looking over to the side. Got to get that defensive call, of course. The clock continues to run, but the uh, pride is taking a long time in that huddle. You know, they only got 14 minutes left in the whole game. Looks like they spread it out. They are going to go for a pass. It looks like he's got somebody over on the right. Almost picked off. He broke it up, though. Give him a hand, everybody. That was fantastic. Now that is what the Wesleyan Battling Bishops needed. Tim Carlock will jump it up there, I believe. Breaking it up. And you know what? I'd rather, it, it wasn't an interception, but it was close enough to push them back. So it's fourth down and eight. The ball on the seven. The ball on the seven of the pride. Can they block this punt? They're getting in there. He calls the fair catch and he fields it around the 40. Excellent field possession or posi uh, pos <laughs> position. Excellent field position for the battling bishops. And it looks like Mr. Moe sitting on our bench again. So it looks like Mr. Momentum is back. Can the bishops capitalize this time? Penalties more so for the pride. They've shot themselves in the foot too many times, but Wesleyan's done it a couple times with some holding. So let's see if they can do it. Now, there looks like uh, Wesleyan is gonna have a tight end in, one man to the left. You got twins right. He rolls out, there's a man open. He cradles it. And number one catches the ball, Sean Washington. Okay, they're gonna move it a little bit. Pretty good gain on that play. I'm gonna give him six, so that's gonna bring up second and four. Wait a minute, officially they're saying uh, seven, so that's gonna bring up second down and three. Passing game seems to be going pretty good. 
Being split left and right. One to the right, two to the left. One man in the backfield. They keep it on the ground. He's still on his feet. Almost breaks it. They're trying to strip the ball, but they don't strip it this time. And number 23, he gets his number called that time. And that is Gary Days. He's a, um, I believe, a sophomore. So he's from Kissimmee or Kissimmee. I think they call it Kissimmee. Kissimmee, Florida. Right, Days in the backfield. Men split left and right, two to the right. Man in motion. That's your, uh, oh, just off his fingertips. That was Logan with your uh, intended target. We'll keep it right here, second and five. I'm sorry, must have been a, a good catch there. Okay, it's gonna bring up second and five. So the Hirschman to Logan connection worked that time. Days is on the, he's churning, churning, churning. You gotta hit him in the legs or he's gonna keep punishing you. That's Days on the carry. Let's see where they spot the ball so we can know how close they are to a first down. There's whistles on the field, and there is a downed bishop. So with that, we're going to take an injured player timeout with the battling bishops leading 12 to nothing going into the fourth quarter. It's uh, 12 minutes, four seconds left in the entire game, and we will be back with more college football right here on WHIG-TV. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG-TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers products, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. Back to action, everybody. Third down and one to go. Day's on his feet, grinding it out in the middle. Let me see where they spot it. I'm not gonna be premature in calling it. That's not right. Where did they spot it? It appears they're gonna give them a first down. Yes, that's plenty. All right, first down and 10. Very good for the Bishops. It's gonna be first down. Ball rest on the eight, so we're gonna say first and goal. All right, first and goal to go. First and goal for the Bishops. Crowd's getting kind of quiet in anticipation what's gonna happen. Two men split left, one to the right. Why mess around when you got a man running days? He's very close, he's moving and grooving. Jumping and jiving, making everybody alive. Okay, clock continues to run since it's a running play. Eat that clock, go as long as you can. Second down, ball on the three. Second and goal to go. Okay, you got what I call twins left. You got one man split to the right. Your tight end is kind of tight, but split just a little bit over there on the right hand side. One man in the backfield, man goes in motion over to the left inside, and there is movement. Motion, oh my goodness. As the old song goes, backfield in motion, you're gonna have to penalize me. Man, that hurts. Okay, the momentum 
kind of shifted. It's getting quiet. Everybody's kind of listening what's going on. Of course, that's going to stop the clock with 10.44 left in the game. Pushes it back. Second and eight. Now, that's not a bad thing sometimes. You can, you can spread the field and go for a pass play. But it looks like they're going to stay in with a tight, tight formation and grind it out. They do. Days is around the right-hand side. Oh, my goodness. Let's see where he broke to. It's mighty, mighty close down there. And that's going to bring up a third down. So he got it to the five. Picked up about three on that play. Third and five. Can the Bishops get to our favorite city? You know the one I'm talking about. Begins with touch and ends with down. <laughs> Here we go. Tight formation, men split left. There's a man in motion. Two men to the right, there's a pass play. There he is, Logan! Touchdown! He's been there all day. <laughs> and they finally... Yeah, he's been there all game. And they finally go to him, so that's a touchdown. Touchdown, Logan, Caleb Logan. Uh, he's a tight end, 6'4", out of Gates County. And they did the play that time. He's been in tight. They gave it to him that time. Touchdown. Here, here we go. There's the kick. It's up and it splits the upright. So with 9.41 left in the entire ball game, Bishops leading 19 to nothing. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more college football right here on WHIG TV. Okay, I'm out. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers products, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. All right, here we're back. Bishop Field 9, or I'm sorry, Vernon T. Bradley football field. Here's the kick. It's up, over, end over end. Are they going to touch it? It takes a crazy bounce. Fantastic play on the, top, on the uh, part of the special teams. And believe me, they were very All right, clock stops, 9.39 left in the game. Bishops with a 19, 19 to nothing score. They've got the pride pinned way back on their own 21. Here they come first and 10. Passing games kind of work for them. They got split left, motion on the play, I believe. Let's see what they're gonna call. I gotta watch the ref. I believe they're gonna call it motion. So that's another way the, the Pride has shot themselves in the foot again. A lot of penalties have marred the uh, Pride. I think they're going to be running a lot of laps next week. So first and 15. Bishop say, thank you. I'll take them any way I can get it. Pin them back. So here, come the, here comes the Pride on offense. Bishop setting up. Are they going to be able to shut down that passing game? Pride has had some success in the passing. 
So they're spreading it out this time. Putting motion over to the right-hand side. And they go that way with the... Oh, no! He says, welcome to my world. He's hit hard. As soon as he touches the ball, gets to the line, wham! And he's not back. With them being pushed back so far, that still brings up second and 13. Second and 13. Got to switch out on the defense, going for a different look on defense. You know, you don't keep the same guys out there. You got certain guys on certain plays, and you kind of uh, anticipate. All right, here comes the pride. Twins left, one man right. And appears there's going to be a timeout on the field. Pride. So timeout on the field, Pride with 8.58, lifting the entire football game. Bishops 19, Pride 0. And we'll be back with more action right here on WHIG TV. All right, back to the action. Pride decides to keep it on the ground. And I'm telling you what, that switch on the defense may, uh-oh. There's flags coming in. I hope that wasn't uh, face masking, but we're gonna find out. I hope not, because that's gonna that's a 15-yarder. Yeah, it was. Oh, Lord, I hate it when I call them right. <laughs> Personal foul, 15-yarder. Mm. I don't have words. That hurts. That gives the uh, Pride a first down. So they get a fresh set of downs. Okay, you got, uh, let's see, I'm trying to see when they get the set here. When I know you got one man split way left. They are electing to keep it on the ground. And that's what it looks like this time. They're in tight with the formation. Looks like, they, oh, motion, two tight ends. Kind of slip over to the left, I mean the right, and they're gonna go right behind those blockers, but Wesleyan shuts them down. I don't think he can even turn the corner there. If they give him anything, I'm gonna see, up. Oh, he lost. I thought that's what happened. <laughs> they caught him in the backfield. So that is going to bring up second down and I'm, I'd say 13. The official scoreboard will show me in a second, but I'm going to say it's uh, second and 13. Yep. Kind of hard to see from up here. Second and 13. Here comes the pride. Or defense from the Bishops doing a good job as they sport their purple, I mean their uh, pink socks honoring breast cancer awareness. And no good on that pass. Incomplete, stops the clock. As I was saying, the bishops are wearing their pink socks for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Of course, that's all October. So it's always a good thing. You can go on the internet and find all kinds of ways to donate to breast cancer. Also, it's homecoming. It will be a great thing for the bishops of course, if they could come away with a win, but you know the coaches were thinking, let's get that shutout, guys. It would be so sweet if they could get a shutout on homecoming. Pride steps back, looking for men, and he just heaves it out of bounds. Smartest thing to do, because he knew it was going to be picked off. All the bishops were on their men like white on rice, as they say. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. They got them. Switch it out. Fourth and 13. 7.50 left in the game. Pride has no choice but to punt. But be careful, bishops. They might pull a sneaky on you. You never know. All right, getting set. Getting ready. There's the snap, kind of high. And it's a knuckleballer. Wesleyan has it. Oh, excellent play from the Pride. I gotta give it credit when credit's due. The special team stepped up. As soon as he made that catch, they wrapped him up. Like a Christmas present, as they say. Ball rest on the 35 now. 
Well, that's what it looks like to me. You see where they're going to spot it. Yep. Okay. Here come the Bishops. First and 10 on their own 35. Bishops with the ball. You got men split left and right, but they keep it on the ground. He's got some running room. There he goes. And I believe that was uh, 23 Gary Days again. Trying to spot his number. Nope, that's number 28 this time. Take that back. 28 Jalen Perry on the carry. So they, they had him spread out. Your defenders have to watch your defense, and then they just went right up the middle with it. Right, one man left. You got twins over to your right. Got a full back in the backfield. One running back in the back. There's the, and he hands it off. He tries to get that corner. Can he get it? 28, he's mighty close over there. And that's 28, Jalen Perry with the carry. I'm not sure if he got, no, didn't get the, didn't, maybe picked up a, as we always say, he ran more, uh, you know, horizontally than he did vertically. And he really didn't get much out of it. Not as much as I thought. I thought he got a little bit more out of that. Third down, one to go. Third down, one to go. One man left, two to the right. Full back in, grind it at the middle. Let's see, they do. He's met at the line. I'm thinking the pride is pointing. No, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Not sure why they've stopped the clock. I'm watching the... Okay, now he started, like I was thinking when a running play, you shouldn't have stopped the clock, but anyway. Fourth, one to go. They stopped him last play. Bishop's up 19 to nothing. A little over five minutes to play. They're really looking at the play. A lot of people say, why aren't they hiking the ball? Well, you want to burn that clock. And it appears to be a Wesleyan timeout. So, with, yep, with timeout on the field, Bishop's leading 19 to nothing, 548 left in the entire contest. You're watching Battling Bishop Football. Hi, everybody, Tim Taylor bringing you the action right here on WHIG TV. And the Bishops had decided to punt with fourth and one. Let's see for the snap. There's the snap, a pretty snap. High punt, excellent punt, it keeps carrying. He called for the fair catch, but it bounced out of bounds. And that's going to stop the clock with 540 to go. Pride's ball. And they're going to be first and 10. Let me see where they spot it before we let you know that. Also like to tell you about Pepsi. Everything's better with Pepsi. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, 50 years and county as well as Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capitol Drive, Rocky Mount. All right, we're back to action. The Pride trying to make it not a shutout. He's got somebody over in the flat. He's got the ball. There's a flag. There's a flag on the, on the play, though. Flag in the backfield of the Pride. He's talking over the line. Judge is talking. Umpires is going over to the referee to let us know what it was. He leans in, and let's see what the zebras have to say. Holding, excellent call. You can't get that wide open and not have a hold. Holding against the pride. That's a 10 yarder. So it's gonna be second down and 20 to go. Second down and 20. Pride has really hurt themselves all game with penalties. Got to be a little bit more disciplined. And of course, the Bishops are able to take advantage of that. All right, Brain Specialty. Brain delivers product services and solutions to our customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924 and they're still family owned and operated. All right here comes the Pride. 
They are trying to get something going here. Pass play, big, big rush. He throws it out of bounds smartly. That way he stops the clock. And this, this last through, it was 5.50 when we started and it's 5.14 left now. So they're really managing the clock. And this minute seems to go the slowest I've ever seen. Still second and 20. Still second and 20. Just guessing the pride probably going to go with a pass play that far back, but you could go with a draw play, catch the defense off and run it straight up the middle for a big gainer. Speaking of Brame, also their goal is to assist their customers in taking the next step to improve the appearance, health and efficiency of their facilities. And I called it right. They're going to try the draw, but Wesleyan was smart to stay home. And they bottled him up. He's thinking, what happened? I thought I was going to be able to, to do something there. Clock continues to run. And push the pride even further back. I think this is the worst field position they've had all day. It's third and 26. It's third and 26 on their own five. On their own five. I don't think they have much uh, choice but to maybe pass to get out of that hole. You got trips right. Oh, fumble! It's a fumble! And he just punched it out of the back. So with that, that is going to be a safety again. So instead of trying to fall on it, that is going to be a safety. And that's going to give the Bishops another two. So with the Bishops leading 21-0 at what homecoming, it's been a good one. 426 left on the clock. We'll, we will return with more of your favorite college football right here on WHIG TV. You're tuned in to today's Battling Bishops Wesleyan College Football Game of the Week here on WHIG TV. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by PepsiCo. Everything's better with Pepsi. Taylor Financial Strategies, located at 4020 Capital Drive here in Rocky Mount. Brame Specialty. Brame delivers products, services, and solutions to their customers throughout the Carolinas and Virginia. Founded in 1924, they remain family owned and operated with a strong focus on the communities where they live and work. Piedmont Service Group, building efficiency and sustainability, commercial and industrial HVAC and building concepts. Piedmont Service Group, we make buildings more efficient. As we've seen this twice in this game, it's kind of cool. A safety, you have to do what's called a free kick. So the Bishops are gonna get the ball back. It's a high kick, kind of takes a funny bounce. Wesleyan picks it up. They're moving to the left, to the right, and he's brought down. Wait a minute, a big scrum out there. <laughs> About the 45, uh, the pride in the uh, Bishops got kind of tied up, but it was away from the play. All right, so that was number one, Anthony Moore on the run back. Didn't get a whole lot, but he gets them a little bit. He's out of Guyton, Georgia. A lot of out-of-state players on the team. But your quarterback, uh, Hirschman, for instance, like I said, Jacksonville, Florida. But your fullback, Tyler Watson, is from Lenore, North Carolina. Keeping it on the ground. Can he break out to the side? He does. He's off to the races. He's down to the 40. And he's finally forced out. And that's number 25, Gary Days. I've been waiting for that the whole game. Days with a great, great breakout run. He breaks it over to the right-hand side. He ran out of, uh, they forced him out of bounds, so it's going to stop the clock. But hey, get a little rest, guys. 
Everybody, I see, yeah, they're there uh, kind of getting winded. Coach is talking to the guys over on the uh, right-hand side here. Everybody clapping. I'm going to keep it right here being so close to the end of the game. Bishop's getting everything set up. I tell you what, we will take a very quick uh, timeout. This is Tim Taylor bringing you all the action, uh, filling in. Having a good time to be out of the house. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to be able to get around, guys. That's all I can tell you. Some of you know my story, some of you don't, but it's nice to be out. We are going to go to a break with the Bishops leading 21-0 with 414 left in the game. Let's go, Bishops. WHIG TV. And we are back. Going with a tight uh, formation, but two guys to the day still with the ball. He breaks over to the left. He's grinding it out. Still on his feet. Boy, he's running it. He's hard to break down. Days with the carry. He's 5'9", 230 pounds. You know, shorter backs are hard to break down because they've got such a low center of gravity. And he proved it that time. First down for the Bishops. Ball the rest on the Pride 24. Can they get one more score out of this? I know they are hoping. And they got to try to preserve this shutout. That would be great as well. Lots of good stuff on the table. Electing to keep it on the ground. Got one man, and it's kind of a high snap. It scares me every time. Days with the ball, still breaking it out. You got to hit that boy in the legs. He's going to keep moving on you. Days with a great run over on the right-hand side. It's Offensive line giving them a good push and also watching your fullbacks back there pushing. So they're really moving the ball on the ground now. Let me see if there's a, if there's a whistle. I was thinking it was an injured player, but no. We'll keep it right here. Clock stops, 315 left. Bishops 21, tried zero. Second and five to go. Bishops on the Pride 19, I'm down to 19. No hurry to call the play. Gonna let that clock eat up as much as they can. As it clicks on down, three minutes left now. Talking to day, uh, days in the backfield. Tight formation, only one man split. Check that, twins to the left, twins to the left. He's waiting for the play clock. He's got time. It's Days on the carry. Once again, grind it up the middle. This time electing to go over to the left-hand side. And it looks like uh, where they're going to spot it. Let's see. It's going to be third down, of course, coming up. And we're going to call it about two. Third down and two to go. Third down and two. Clock continues to click. You got 20 or 18 seconds on the play clock. They're going to try to let a lot of that run off. Everybody's saying, let's get it going. 10 seconds left on the play clock. He can see it in the end zone. Down to seven now. Six, five. And he hands it off. Days again. It's Days Day. Homecoming here at North Carolina Wesleyan College. Smart to keep it on the ground because that means the clock continues to tick. Fourth down and one. Fourth down and one. So to keep up with it, it's 135 left on the game clock. Your play clock has got 20 seconds on it now. So they're going to try to eat as much as that 20 as they can. So even if they don't get the first down, it puts them way, way back in um, way back in pride territory. I know it's tense when they do this. Looks like Days might be coming out of the game. Okay, it looks like a Bishop. Yep, no, I'm sorry, Pride. It's a Pride, uh, excuse me, it's a Pride timeout. So with, with 11, one minute and 11 seconds left on the clock, with the Bishops leaving 21 to zero at homecoming, we're gonna take us a break. This is Tim Taylor bringing you the action from North Carolina Wesleyan, Vernon T. Bradley Jr. football field, 
right here on WHIG TV. All right, twins left. Tight formation over on the right hand side. They give it to Days. Days is breaking. It appears to be he wings that arm out. Trying to get as much as he can. Appears they have signaled it, but we're gonna wait for the officials. Okay, that's the first down. Didn't want to call it too soon. Clock is down to one minute. Watson comes out of the cane. Less than a minute left. They're on the, I believe the 14-yard uh, line. Not in a hurry. Game clock down to seven. Three, two, one. Takes a knee. Okay, 28 seconds left in the game. It's ticking down. Why do you think all of our sponsors? Looks like they're not going to get another play off. As the click, uh, the uh, clock ticks down. We're going to call that a ball game, everybody. Bishops walk out of here with a 21 to nothing victory. They get the win. They get the shutout. Good going, battling bishops. There it goes, triple zeros, final score, Bishops 21, Prime Zero. You've been watching college football, battling Bishop football. Hi everybody, Tim Taylor. Had a great time calling this game right here on WHIG-TV.